Okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Saturday morning virtual care partner training and update call. And uh, I know we'll have people logging in uh, from all around the country. And uh, exciting times, guys, uh, for virtual care partners. Um, a lot of you have experienced um, last week the rollout of the preferred provider program. I'm telling you, things are changing <laughs> as we speak. Every hour, it seems like uh, this company is getting better and better. Our back office is being built. We look to be on time with the delivery of that. Uh, new videos being created. Uh, we're going to give you all the updates today. Um, but what I'm going to do is open up with, uh, I always like to open up with a video that I, I look at that could really, I think, make a difference if you just really watch it. And uh, just listen to the message um, I'm here because this is what we all have to uh, really uh, understand and persevere. Our society is teaching individuals yeah, incorrectly in this stage. You have schools that have no cut policies in sports. Right. You have to sign a waiver to say you can only say positive things. <laughs> Otherwise, you got you to keep quiet. All right. So what are, we t what are we teaching individuals? You get a trophy for participating for 16th place. Everyone gets a trophy, all right? And then you get the one mother who shows up and says, hey, my kid didn't get a trophy. Well, your kid was only here one time, and she's arguing with the coach. All right, we're going we're gonna, to we're give you a trophy. Winning and competing matters. It matters. All right, you're not, 30 people apply for a job. 30 people are not getting the job. One person's getting the job. All right, so if you don't teach competitiveness and how important it is at a young age, when they hit adversity, they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with it because you can't do everything for them all the time. You know, you hear fathers all the time with daughters, and you know, I have them, and it's all about, listen, daddy's little girl, you know? It is daddy's little girl, but you gotta let daddy's little girl and daddy's boy figure stuff out on their own. 100%. Okay, 100%. on there, you protect them, you provide for them, but you gotta let them figure shit out on their own. Why was Michael and Kobe who they were? Tom Brady, Dwayne Wade, Wayne Gretzky, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, all these guys. Not because of their physical gifts. Yes, that had a lot to do with it. It's up in here. Yeah. It's up in here, and we can all, listen, we're not gonna learn to fight like Floyd. We're not gonna learn to play basketball like Michael. We're not gonna be able to do these things, but you can all think that way in whatever you're doing. You can all take that action. You can be, you can be that cleaner in whatever you wanna do. It starts, it starts and ends up here. All right? It's time to recharge this and reboot this. You know, I keep saying it, but we're getting too soft. Everyone talks about, you know, nobody moves anymore. We're getting unhealthy. We, listen, we have access to the, some of the healthiest foods, all the diets out there, all the knowledge. There's more gyms opening now than ever before, and why is your obesity rate going up? You have the knowledge. You know, you know, hey, if I eat this, this is what's going to happen. If I eat this, this is not going to But people want to make excuses. You know, I got a slow metabolism rate. I'm big boned and all that. No, you're eating too much. All right, let's stop, make, stop making excuses. All right, there are people out there that do have those conditions. Sure. Okay, we, we overcomplicate things. Move more, eat less equals weight loss. There you go. You have individuals that make excuses all the time. I came from a broken home. I didn't have this. I yeah. didn't have that. And you got other individuals that take that, hey, my mom raised me or my dad raised me, and they take that as, as motivation, as power to say, watch me. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to let that hold me back. It's not. It's not an. Ex, it's not an excuse. Anybody can own a watch. Anybody can drive a car. Anybody can live in a house. All right. But if you really want to set some goals and you're willing to do what it takes and sacrifice to put yourself around there and not worry about what everybody else is going to say, not worry about hurting feelings. Okay, this is no BS, and this is this isn't about feelings because I always say this: emotions make you weak. 
thing. Okay. And a lot of people attack people's emotions because that's way you can get them. they can control you. Yeah. They can control you. Mm -hmm. All right. Think, think bigger. Think better. Don't think homes. Think estates. Don't think cars. Think automobiles. Don't think watches. Think time pieces. All right. Because like what you said is the way you, th it, it all starts with a thought. Yeah. I heard you say that somewhere one of your things. It all starts with it all starts but with most people, that's where it ends. It ends there. Yeah. It ends with a thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. This isn't fa this isn't fantasy island. Yeah, that's a wish. It's not a, yeah. Yeah, it's a wish. This isn't this isn't fantasy island. Everyone wants a pat on their back for doing the things that they're supposed to do. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. Everybody, hey, they want to get acknowledged for the things they're supposed to do. You get somebody that applies for an application for a job, you know, first thing on the resume, I'm a hard worker. No one wants to grind. Yeah. Okay? They just want the end result. You can't get the end result yeah. without the grind. It might not be a physical grind, but it's sure in the hell is going to be a mental grind. You have the talent. You have the intelligence, all right? You know how to compete. You don't have the resiliency. The resiliency. Mm. You don't have that. Mm. When failure comes kicking you, comes yeah. kicking your ass, yeah. all right, you you crumble and you fall. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You crumble, you gotta have that resiliency over and over again. Mm. But at some point, that resiliency has gotta turn into something. So here's, here's what I want people to understand um, uh, on this training today that we're going to do. Um, when you look at where we are as a company, hang on, let me get my, uh, when you look at where we are as, as a company uh, and, and where we're going, I want to make sure everybody here knows something, that everybody on this call, everybody on this call is, is, is special. Everybody on this call Okay, bought into an initial vision, okay, within uh, Carry Network and Virtual Care Partners. And, and a lot of you now are out there. You're out there every day, right? You're facing the challenges because you're going through the same challenges as we are as a company, okay? And we understand that. But I want to make sure you guys understand that as we go out there and bring forth this product and as we start to share this, not everybody is going to accept your opportunity. Not every physician, okay, is going to say, I want carry in my office. You just have to understand the journey that we're embarking on. And, and, and this is where the resiliency, as he says, okay, comes into play. And I learned this very often, guys, are early. Thoughts determine what you want, but action determines what you get, okay? And in our industry, it's going to open up with this before we bring you up to date on all the updates. In this industry, and if this says network marketing, okay, this is any industry. I don't care what you call it. I don't care if you opened up a store. I don't care if you opened up a restaurant, okay? It really makes no difference. I don't care if you're a salesperson, okay? You're paid for your vision. This is what you're paid for, okay? You're paid for your vision, and the first person that has to be sold on your vision is you. You have to be sold on your vision. You have to be sold, okay, that this, if this is what you want, is your last stop. You have to be sold, right, and you have to create this vision. It could be a five-year goal. It could be a one-year goal, okay? But what comes first, the building or the foundation? And then what comes first, the foundation or the blueprint? You got to have the blueprint, which becomes your vision. And the biggest part of this journey is the courage to take it. And I'm speaking to myself here, okay? Having the courage to go out there and be proud of what you do, right? Now, how are you proud of what you do? Because you have made a decision to become a professional in what you do. But here is the biggest fallback. Here is the, big, the biggest problem is this is most people don't believe, okay, that they're involved in something that's going to give them what they want. So you got to have this belief system. And you got to believe, okay, in a couple of things. 
you got to believe that most people out there, okay, want more money. I know without a doubt, given a choice, do you want more or do you want less? People are going to choose more. So you have to believe that this could help, okay, all the people that we can help. It can help the person who gets involved as a virtual care partner, right? And they could do the spare time, part time, full time. It could help the physician add extra dollars to their practice. It can help a physician practice medicine better. You got to believe in the results that people can get if they implement our program, whether that be Carrie or whether that be joining us as a virtual care partner. And you have to have the courage to share it with people. This industry, what we do is not that difficult. Okay, it really is just believing in what you're offering. And the biggest thing that you're going to have to have is the stamina. The stamina and the courage to go through the nose. Can I ask this group a, a question? Have you talked to anybody? Has anybody told you no? Has anybody said question whether or not, okay, this is going to work? Now, you know what that is? That's checking your belief. It's not about overcoming their objections. It's, um, it's asking yourself, does that objection or that concern or their no, is that going to stop me on my journey? No. Makes no difference who tells me yes or no. Makes no difference if a doctor accepts my opportunity or not. And some people get caught up, okay, in, in the network marketing part of this. Okay, guys, the part of network marketing here is just a compensation plan. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to probably say it every Saturday. Network marketing is not an action. It's a pay plan. That's all it is. And it says, I could build a group of people, multiple levels of people that are bringing carry product into the marketplace. And I get a percentage. And people say, oh, I would never do network marketing. You would never want to build a team and get a percentage. See, that's not what they're saying. And we get all caught up in that. Okay, that should never even come up. You're offering a product. You're offering a service. That's all you're doing. And we're offering that product or service for some people for free. I, I did a call the other day with a physician. Okay. And I never mentioned network marketing, but you know what he was negative about? Here's what he said to me. He said, I, I don't believe, I don't believe that virtual care is the next big thing. I don't believe virtual care is where doctors need to go. I don't believe you're going to be able to deliver the platform. Now, did that make me hang up and say, oh my gosh, I don't think Carrie's going to work. Because one doctor said he doesn't believe, it's the same doctor okay, that still has not switched over to an EMR system. He's still doing paper. So is he going to ruin my opportunity? No, because my vision is set. Makes no difference. But some of us, we hear and we, we talk about and we may introduce the network marketing piece. And if someone says no, we think it's bad. This is not bad. This is just our pay structure. So I just want, here's my point here. I just want you all to be sold. And what we're going to be doing now is we're taking this thing to another level because now we have a base. Our base is growing every day. It's nowhere near what it's going to be, but we're adding four to six people per day, virtual care partners. We're now building a team. And this cannot only be about Jeff and Lisa. Okay, we're going to start developing leadership. We're going to start developing leadership. And the first phase that we are taking, okay, is going to start this Wednesday. And the leadership are going to be our, what we're putting together is our first core group. Our first core group. Okay, and our core group is going to be meeting on a regular basis, right? So we can then start developing, right, the teams all around the country. And you know who the core group's going to be? It's the people that I believe, because of what they've already done, that have vision. These are people that I believe I can go to battle with because they have the courage. 
And these are people that I believe, okay, because of what they've done already, are going to have the stamina and be able to persevere through the challenges that we will all have. It's not whether or not we're going to have a challenge. Here's the thing. How do you react when you hit the challenge? I always say the same thing. You never, ever find out anything about a person when things are going well. You find out everything about a person when things go south. And I know this initial core group has been through some battles. I just want you to understand this, okay? I want you to understand how this industry works, okay? And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna write right now, okay? When you look at what we're doing here, how do I do it? Okay, watch, okay? If this is, if this is the company, right here, okay? Did you know the company has different legs of business, right? Okay, these are individuals that said yes, right? And as you know, in network marketing, right? This is how it grows. This person gets two, this person, right? So understand that when we start our core group, this core group, each core group member, you have to understand something. If that's the leader, the core group person can control tens of thousands of people. What we're going to be doing is building layers of leadership. And what if it wasn't the person that initially was on the core group? But down here somewhere, there's a leader. We're identifying that right now, guys. We're identifying this. And we want to keep our core group leaders informed of what's going on on a daily basis. We want them to make sure that if there is a challenge, we're going to head off that challenge and the core group is going to be able to make sure those fires are put out. I'm talking to you straight now because as you grow a company, let me ask you, do you think a company who's done a billion dollars had problems ever? What do you think held it together? The vision and the courage and the stamina of the leader. Well, this, this company that we're forming is going to be more about not just one leader. It's going to be through a layer of a core group that has these attributes that we are going to be working very closely with. And if you're not on the initial core group, okay, is there, is there a, ch a chance for you? Of course there is. We're always going to be looking for leadership, guys. This is just the first phase, and we're ready for it. Isn't that the exciting part? We're ready. We're ready because, guys, we're going to be, a lot of us, we're going to be on the road. We're going to be on the road. We're going to be out there. We're going to be going to different cities, different states. This thing is going to expand into different countries. Not now. Don't start selling that, by the way. Okay? Don't start saying, Jeff, I got a guy in China. We're nowhere near that. I just want to give you the vision. And do you understand the long-term vision here, everyone? Do you understand the long-term vision, right? I was talking to a physician too late yesterday, and he said, "Where are you with bio, uh, biometrics? You know, like the blood cuff, the, the blood pressure cuff, right, and all the things that you can do from home." I said, "Do you understand the vision of our company? We're going to build the base with carry. The base will be built with carry. Do you understand? Once you have the base." and you have millions of members utilizing the membership, you could then drop in other products. Do you understand that's the vision here? Do you think it's just gonna be about the membership? What happens if we drop in a wearable that can do your blood pressure, could do an EKG, right? Can do many things that some of these can do. What happens to your income? I want you to think about this. Because I, I want you to be sold. This is not a little thing, everyone. This is big business. And then what if we offer testing? Do you think that might do it? We could, all, we could bring in, what if we brought in weight loss? What if we brought in coaching? What if we bought, brought all this in? You have a base. It's the same thing we're doing with the doctor. Doc, you have a base of patients. Let's offer them this membership. Oh, 
And that's what multi-level marketing is. It's, it's, re, it's building the most important thing you could build. It's called a consumer base. Do you know right now we're meeting with other types of products, but we're not there. Okay, I'm talking about for the first quarter of next year, second quarter next year. You got to think beyond the initial thing today. That's your vision. And as you stay plugged into this, you'll be able to share that vision with people. And guess what? That's how you recruit. That's how you sponsor. But guys, I'll tell you right now, courage, stamina. That's what you're going to need. That's what we're paid for. I'm paid for right now keeping this base excited as the product comes out. I think we're, what, 71 days now? Okay, 71 days to the launch of Kiri. But remember what? What was it? Four months ago? We were saying, oh, my God, October, so far away. It's here. Now we got to prepare the team. And a lot of you out there are doing an unbelievable job. Okay, you're out there. You're sharing the vision. That's what's going to keep you in. So with that, I want to I wanna, um, announce um, the, the, the new core group. So Lisa, can um, you, you take over the screen and put that slide up for me? Lisa? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So we're putting together our initial core group, guys, um, for virtual care partners. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited. But I want to make sure you, you guys understand that we're going to go through – Okay, what this means. Uh, the VCP core group leadership meeting. Okay, executives and above. Okay, executives and above starting this week. And you will be receiving an invitation from us. Our first core group meeting will be Wednesday, July 25th at 6 o'clock. And what we're going to be doing is, okay, we're going to, first of all, let this core group know what it means to be on the core group. And I'm going to say it here in front of all of you because I want all of you who get to this rank to be on the core group. This is not limited. This is developing leadership, everyone. But I'm going to let that core group know on Wednesday what it means to be on the core group. Some of you may say, no, I'm not ready for that. Because I will tell you, this is not for everybody. This is not for the faint of heart. This is real talk. Not that I'm not telling you. I, I talk real no matter what I do. But I'm talking about really elevating and letting people know what it's going to take to really build a million dollar income okay, in this company. And then what we're going to be doing is, okay, we're going to be rotating these leaders to do the opportunity presentations on Sundays and Thursdays. Okay, and we're going to be starting consistently because of the new people that we're being that are being added now a Saturday training every Saturday. Okay. I want to make sure you guys understand this. This right here, this is the update call. This stays Lisa and I, this is our baby 8 a.m. Saturday mornings. Okay. But every Saturday morning, we need to have consistent orientation training and that will be at 10 a.m. Pacific time every Saturday and our core group leaders will be leading the orientation trainings. So, so this way, how does it work? Okay, well, let me explain to you, okay? Let's say Susan signs up two people this week, okay? Well, Susan's job is to what? Get them the welcome letter, okay? All right, welcome them to the team, and they go, hey, it's Saturday morning. You need to be on the orientation call because one of our great leaders, okay, Gus and Jan, Okay, are doing the orientation training. Let me tell you about Gus and Jan. And she edifies Gus and Jan, and she markets that to her whole team. Why? We want the system to do the heavy lifting, guys. So we're going to be adding this every Saturday for the core group. Now, at least do we have the uh, core group right now? Yes, we do. So let me introduce you guys to the initial core group, and I want to – uh, thank, or and I want to congratulate everybody because these people hit a rank, okay, that I will tell you is no joke, okay? It's the rank of executive, 
Okay, and I want to congratulate Gus and Jan Fernandez, Kenny and Francis Williams, Dr. James Rebecca Bassett, Batson, Bill Davey, Gordon Turner, Shane Hendricks, Debbie Johnson, Sonia Schonenberg. <laughs> Congratulations, Sonia. Dean Hibbs, Tim and Shay Lisa, Dr. Jim Hayes, Patricia Seaman, and hang on, and Dr. Fresna Hall. Now, guys, do me a favor. This is a big deal. Get on your chat and congratulate. Cheer them on as if you were on the core group. Okay? This is, this, this, this is and like I said, <laughs> this initial group, after we do the introduction of what we want from our core group, some of them may, may say no. I don't think so. Okay? But I, I want, this is the group that will be helping us form the leadership team that we need to take to achieve carry health goals of going out there and sharing this opportunity. Let me oh, see. Uh, Go ahead. Jeff, Lisa. Yeah. Jeff, um, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Um, for some reason, when I was doing the list, Fran Gatto is on this list too. I don't know why my eyes must have skipped a line. Fran Gatto is on this list. Please, my apologies. Um, you, better, you, better, you better shrink this and put her name up and come back after it. I will. I will. We'll shrink it and put it back up. My apologies. I'm looking down the list. I go, where's Fran? That makes up the core group, everybody. And then we have Fran Gatto on here. Everybody welcome Fran. <laughs> okay. Congrats. And guys, here's what I want you to do. Look at your leader. Because all these people understand they control a team. So you're part, if, you're, if you have a team member, which I know you do on this, okay, you're part of that new core group. So be, understand this is what we're going to be doing at Virtual Care Partners. Okay. So uh, I think my piece is done, Lise. Did I take enough time for you to stall? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Can you guys all hear me? Yes, go ahead. All right. So congratulations. And um, you guys, this is the start of... This is it. All of this is coming together. I've had a lot of calls with um, a lot of the leaders this week, and what's about to roll out, we're, we're very close to getting our software and our back office up and running. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Um, Jeff and I, you know, in our experience of being in the industry, this is by far one of the most beautiful back offices we've ever seen. Um, we're about to have a marketing site. New videos are coming. Uh, it's just, right now, it's all hands on deck. And that's why it's time for this next level, to, you know, of leadership to happen. And, and of course, we want to be rotating Thursday and Sunday um, with, our, with our core group leaders in terms of presenting the virtual care partner opportunity presentation. One more clarification. Next Saturday will be the first um, orientation training at 10 a.m. Jeff and I will give that one. And then moving forward, starting the following Saturday, which is August 4th, they will then be rotated by our core group leaders. All right? All right, so let me get into some more information for you, some more updates. Okay, so just, just housekeeping, announcements. Um, if you are on LinkedIn, a lot of you guys are on LinkedIn, please make sure you change your company to say Virtual Care Partners, not Carry Health. I've got a list of some of the culprits, and we didn't know, I was putting Carry Health too, but I want you all to circle back to your uh, LinkedIn page. Make sure the company doesn't say Carry Health, because that implies you're an employee of Carry Health. We are obviously virtual care partners, authorized reseller of carry. All right, so make sure you change that. Um, I know you guys think we're totally insane, but the new URL, please forgive us. <laughs> it starts Thursday, July 26th. It's vcplive.com. I got kind of a little beating from some people about changing it and not giving everybody enough notice. So the first day that it changes is this Thursday. 
everything up until Thursday will be vcp.world because we want to give people time to change it because you got I know people send out a lot of emails and I don't want to screw anybody up I don't want to get into the story about what happened but we can't have vcp world <laughs> anyway. we're not world and that was a previous company there was a lot of confusion we couldn't be world and uh, uh, the other side, the corporate side, didn't see the conflict, and it went out before we kind of approved it. So I apologize. We'll take responsibility for that. Um, okay, we already talked about this. Brand new orientation training will start this Saturday, this Saturday at 10 a.m. The purpose of the orientation training, you guys, is we want to have something where a new VCP can go through an orientation training, and it will be the same training every Saturday. And that's, and that's needed. It will also be recorded, but we want to have a live one. This Monday, Dr. Dan McDyer is going to be doing the first certification training. It will, be, it will be module one, and it's going to be the value and proposition to a provider and physicians, to healthcare providers and physicians. It'll be this Monday at 6 p.m., and of course, this, this Monday, it's VCP world, vcp.world, okay? Because everything doesn't switch until Thursday, all right? Okay, um, I am going to be posting because there's so many meetings being added. We will have a calendar by the end of today on Facebook that you guys can all bookmark to the top of your computer with all the different links and times. So give me through the end of the day to get that on our Facebook page, which is Virtual Care Partners, and everybody will have all the links and all the dates and all the times because we're adding a lot of stuff. Once our beautiful back office is up, we are gonna have a, a, a beautiful live and robust calendar on our back office on our brand new software. So until then, I gotta post it on our Facebook page. Okay, couple things. Obviously, the new carry.com site is being launched, and at the same time, if you guys go to virtualcarepartners.com, this is gonna be the, the, the brand new site for all of us. I know a lot of you guys have taken a look at it. There's still some work to be done, but you'll be able to log in as soon as that software is completed and so, as soon as it's done being built. But this is where everything's gonna live for us. We are no longer gonna have that old back office, which a lot of stuff is incorrect on, as we know. That's just a place we had to house ourselves in until our beautiful back office is done. So if you wanna check it out, go to virtualcarepartners.com. Also, keep loading up your questions. This is what's happening, you guys. We are gonna be creating a very, very robust Q&A on both sites. Anything pertaining to carry, doctors and physicians, and anything on that will live on carry.com. Anything about virtual care partners, commissions, anything, any questions about the sales side will live on virtualcarepartners.com. But we're also gonna have a live chat window because as we continue to build this, especially with these physicians, as you guys all know, we're very transparent. We're learning this as we go. We're learning all this as we go. A lot of you know more than we do about the physician world and about the telehealth world. So as we bring people in, we want ongoing education, starting with our uh, certification, which by the way, we're gonna do them live then they're gonna be recorded, and they're gonna live in a beautiful site where people can go through the site and take a, take, in a, take a quick exam after each module, and then get a certificate at the end. So all of this is coming. We're gonna be so educated, we're not gonna know what to do with ourselves. And these questions will just be things of the past, because we're gonna be, be knowledgeable, and we're gonna know all the different nuances but we're in a world where there's a lot of different nuances and we just gotta be patient because <clears throat> as we build the question and answer site, you guys will um, obviously um, keep loading up those questions though. 
Okay, I want to recap some things here. I was talking to one of our doctors, who's actually one of our top VCP, one of one of the top VCP partners, who's now on our core group. Um, and I clarified some things, and she really didn't. She said, "Lisa, oh my God, this changes everything." I want to just recap you guys what we what we're doing. This preferred provider program, we're always going to lead with the freemium model. It's free to get in as a doctor. It's free for him to sign up his patients and, and, and have the, and earn the 20% on his patients. That, that model is not going away, okay? Because that's what carrie has been built on. But this program is just another layer. It's another layer that has immensely huge value. The preferred provider program you guys, it, it, it's the company, if you read about what it's going to do, people that pay this, when they pay the $3,999, that gets them set up. That's paid now, okay? Because all the work that we're going to do for them leading up to the launch in October is going to be unbelievable. Then starting in October, the $999 a month starts. Now, why would a doctor do this, Okay. If you read the brochure, they have access to our VIP concierge program, okay, which we're gonna talk about, empowering them to make up to $30,000 a month in additional revenue. This is the business plan that we're gonna be helping that doctor convert his patients over to, and it's not gonna happen overnight. I, I love when uh, you know uh, our CEO, who, who's a, who's got the background in concierge medicine says, this is a 12 to 24 month bill, but would somebody get involved to have that type of revenue after two years? Okay, there's gonna be, partic they're gonna participate in the Google um, AdWord campaign. We're gonna be remarketing campaign to drive new patients to the provider's site. There's gonna be email marketing. There's gonna be a social media opt opt optimization. Preferred placement in the carry search results. This is huge. Every single city, as the preferred providers come in, we're starting with only three per city. That's it. So if I can have an opportunity to be the first one in my city, and I've got the company taking that $999 and driving business to me, not only am I going to convert uh, a huge percentage of my own patients, I'm going to be um, getting new patients that are going to be driven to, to my practice. Target online advertising campaigns to attract new patients for the virtual and office-based visits. This is really, really big, you guys. This is going to be all hands on deck. They're going to be doing a press release on these doctors. Press release. They're going to be redoing their LinkedIn, their Facebook, their Twitter. They're going to, it's like an overhaul of how do I make that doctor virtual? How do I help that physician? Because these are people who want to, they want to convert over. They want to at least get 25% of their practice over to becoming, um, you know, concierge medicine. Some want to be, that's all they're going to do. They're going to say, as soon as I get the 25% conversion, I'm going to have to say goodbye bye to the 75% that doesn't want to. Some some are saying that to us. So this is this is for the people that want to go to that next level. When Kiri um, when Kiri is on the map in October. Okay, so we want to recap that because I think there's been you know maybe just some confusion about what this really means. You're on the map. You know when you search in Google and the three top people come up there, the three top people underneath that ad, that's where you're gonna be. This is what we're calling a summer land grab. This is a summer land grab, you guys, and it means that um, right now, people wanna get in position, position, so that in October, they're just flying high, okay? So Jeff, can you get rid of that little red squiggly line? I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, you gotta, me, you gotta give me control of the screen so I can erase it. Oh, who cares then? Okay, so what do you guys earn? Can I make if a point we, here real quick, please? Yeah, go ahead. I just wanna make sure, I just wanna make sure everybody understands that 
you're you're going to start with your warm market doctors, of course. Yes. Yeah. Only lead with the free program, unless the, unless the relationship is so strong, and say, listen, I want to I want to share with you the, the preferred provider program. Do not lead with it. Okay, lead with the free program, guys. That will open up the door and then show them how this could work for them. Yeah, the platform itself that we've all been leading with, that is rock star stuff. And to have this as just another level for that particular physician that sees it is what the company is going to provide. They're going to have a whole department dedicated to the preferred provider. You guys got to understand what this means, okay? So what do you earn? Now, yes, the $4,000 is going to live in the comp plan because we want you to be incentivized. Of course, if you sign up a preferred provider, you should, you should be compensated. If you personally sign up that preferred provider, you're making 800 bucks. Now, if anybody in your, in your group signs up a preferred provider, depending on the level they're at, if they're on your second level, that's a $400 commission to you. If they're on your third level, that's $200, $120, $80, $40. So as your group, some of you have huge, huge groups. Imagine when these preferred providers start popping in your organization. This is the commission just on the initial uh, purchase. Okay. Now the $999, there is no commission paid on that. Those that does not start until October for the physician. And that is marketing dollars to build their practice. But you got to remember something. If the company is marketing that practice and driving business to that practice, and you're the one that sponsored that preferred provider, you're getting paid on the memberships. If we, if we drive that practice to a 25% conversion and you've got 600 um, members or, or patients that are on that membership and you're the VCC who brought that preferred provider in, imagine what you're going to be earning on the memberships. That's where the money is, okay? Now, so let's talk about the concierge program. Want to recap this. What does this mean? If I'm a preferred provider... I can sell my, my, my patients, they could, they could buy the $29 membership, a single, they could buy the $49 membership, a family of five, and they can also buy the $99 membership, which is a concierge membership. This is, this right here, when you understand the value of it and the doctor gets behind it, trust me, the conversion and this is based on the experience of our CEO. He has seen practices convert very, very quickly to a 25% conversion. And what I mean by that, over time, let's give it a two-year period. Imagine a patient, a doctor with average patients of 2,400 patients, and he converts 25% of his patients to the concierge program. Okay, now let me tell you, the $99 obviously includes the family of five, the telehealth membership, but it's gonna have all these bells and whistles, next day appointments, wellness visits, VIP service, quarterly follow-ups. There's, it's for the patient that wants that additional care. And that again is just, a, it's, it's a lost art in today's healthcare. And so there's a lot of patients that want this. So if, if the conversion goes to 600 patients, 600 patients, 600 members, that will mean, and we got to fix this slide, obviously 600, the doctor's going to earn out of the 99, $50 per membership. So 50 times 600 is 30,000. That's a, a $30,000 a month income to the physician. And as I said, if we're working with a preferred provider, helping them to get this type of conversion, what if it took two years? What if it took three years to build his practice up to where he's got 25% of his patients? And, and trust me, remember, we're, the company is driving patients to him. What about the patients outside his practice that want this type of care? 
It's not just his own patients. So this is very, very big. I want to recap that. We'll wait till the end to answer any questions. But what could this mean for you? If you have a preferred provider underneath you that gets a 25% conversion, Remember 2,400, 25%, that's 600 patients at $99. The doctor's gonna keep 50 bucks, but the $49 is gonna live in the compensation plan, just like the other memberships live in the compensation plan. So if I bring in a preferred provider, I know my, my commission is 10%. That means I'm making $2,900 per month on one preferred provider converting 25% of his patients to this concierge program. If it's in my downline, if it's in my organization, and it hits, it's at that 5% level, that's $1,400. You guys can see the numbers. If it hits at 3%, that's $882 a month. That's like, imagine how many preferred providers could be in your potential group at 3% money. What if you had 10 doctors underneath you that you brought in that got this preferred provider program? 10 times 2,900 is $29,000 a month. And what, if got, what if you got one? One. I mean, 2,900 a month? I mean, come on guys. So let's I'm be just real, let's be real about, let's be real about the means. industry. Go ahead. Yeah, this really means, this is, this right here, I know some people look at it and go, are some people going to really pay 99 a month? The answer is yes. Are some doctors really going to pay 4,000 a month? The answer is yes. It's already starting. So this, this right here, if you got an email from the company, everybody should have got an email from the company. It recaps what this is all about, all the tools that you have to use. It will recap the preferred provider presentation that was done Wednesday night with Dr. Dan McDyer, our CEO, Matt Wanderer, and, and Jeff. Please re-watch re, re that. Make sure you understand what this means and make sure you understand how to present it because you want to start with your own doctor. You guys, start with the doctors you know. Start with the doctors you have a relationship with. Use the script that we're providing Show them the videos. We've got some new videos that are coming. We're going to have one for memberships being built. They're coming. They're going to be beautiful. You're going to have them. That's going to be in our marketing, marketing funnel site. You're going to have one for the VCCs. And you're also going to have one um, just for physicians. So when I say show them the video, show them what we have now, but we have some really hot ones coming. Go over the marketing material. There's a two-page marketing collateral. Get them on a live healthcare provider webinar. They're every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. And we're also going to have one that's recorded. Um, Dr. Dan is actually going to be going to Miami in the next couple weeks. And we're going to have a beautiful healthcare provider uh, uh, presentation that's recorded that you'll be able to share with the physicians that you know. And set up three-way calls with your sponsor, with your upline. You guys, Jeff and I are on deck 24-7. This right now is go time. We're working bell to bell. We're on East Coast time. We're on West Coast time. We're on every time. So if you need help, go up to the people above. Um, we're there to help. And just send them the link and get them enrolled. Everybody has a, um, uh, uh, a link that you got when you signed up. If you send it to people, there's videos that live there now, and, and the doctors can start getting enrolled now for free so that they're in line for the platform when it starts in October, but they also can, you can click where it says uh, 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 physician provider, whatever, and, and right there it will show you how, if you scroll down, it will show them where they can check out and get in as a preferred provider. I'll end with this, you guys. I, we put this script together because we always believe asking questions is the way to go and less is best. When we talk to anybody, it, it could be a, a virtual care consultant I'm looking to enroll as a team member, or it could be a doctor. Have you heard about telehealth, telemedicine? They're gonna say yes or no. 
what are you doing? If I'm talking to a doctor and he says yes, he goes, yeah, 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 I've heard about it. Who hasn't? What are you doing to implement telehealth into your practice? He's going to answer, well, nothing. Or maybe he says, I'm working with. Well, I've partnered with a telehealth company that has a very unique offering. Our company has a powerful platform that allows physicians to instantly connect with their patient for free. Okay? Boom. If I invited you to a private insider healthcare provider webinar, would you be able to get on? The next one is, if it's Tuesday, tonight at 6 p.m. If they say yes, send them the link. And always make an appointment to follow up with them after the webinar ends. If the webinar starts at 6, I would make an appointment to call them at 7. If they can't talk at 7, I'd say, let's talk the next day. What's a good time and what's a good number to call you on? If they say, no, I can't get on at that time, just be assumptive. Great. I'm going to send you a recorded webinar. When do you think you can watch it? You guys, you have the goose that laid the golden egg. Always be assumptive. And then if they say, I think I could watch it on Sunday night after I put the kids to bed. Say, great. I'm going to send you the link. Let's set a time to follow up. Do you want me to call you Sunday night around 8 p.m.? You think you would have watched it by then? If they say, oh, Lisa, call me Tuesday. What time Tuesday? And what's the best number to call you on? Always, always take those, those next steps. Don't say, I'll get back with you after you watch it. Let me know what you think. You, you just drop the ball. And now the person doesn't have an appointment set. There's no urgency. Without urgency, all value is lost. Make sure you set an appointment to follow up. Then you follow up. Always say, what do you like best about what you saw? This is part of our orientation training. Go over the marketing material. I always, I'm assumptive. Let me send you my link. Let's get you signed up. Let's get you in the system. And what do you think, how do you feel about that preferred provider program? Do you have any questions? And set up a call with your sponsor to get those questions answered and get them enrolled. So that's the, you guys, that's the doctor script. Hey, Lise, real quick. Yeah. Um, and just so you guys understand, you know, we, we did very well with physicians, but it's not because we, 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 we knew a lot. We knew very few, but the ones that we did know that did the program opened up the referral base. So by you helping one doctor implement this program, okay, I think it's going to be on us and he's happy with it. He'll open up, he'll, he'll go out there and he'll give you other providers. So it's not about cold calling doctors. If you want to do that, you can yeah. It's about networking through the doctor. Even though the doctor may not become a BCC, you still ask for the referral. And yeah. that's, that's what's going to open, up, that's what's gonna open up the world to you with physicians. If they're excited, I've never seen a physician not want to refer a program that's working to his colleague. I don't even ask for the referral. They're just going to say, well, I'd like to, Lisa, um, I'd like to refer this to my brother who's a physician. Could you help him too? That's how this works. It just, it just, you guys, it just happens. So we have our weekly provider meeting every Tuesday. This Tuesday, remember, the link is vcp.world. The following Tuesday, it will go to our new and final URL, which is vcplive.com. So I am going to stop the share and I, you guys, I'm excited. We're right at 8:54. Hey, Lisa, um, bring up, bring up the, bring up the um, core group again. Okay. I want to close with that. Well, why, why you close? Let me just change something. I got to fix that slide. <laughs> so, so obviously, got, there's a lot of questions, and just so some of you know, uh, some of the things that we will be covering. I know these are questions that you all have in the, um, in the certification. Right, technical questions like EMR, Stark Law, anti-kickback, specialties that qualify for the 50 bucks. I know all the questions, okay? So let me just address one that we got answered. The question was, who qualifies for the $50 right, per consultation? You know how the doctor gets 50 bucks? 
not on the concierge. Okay, this is a doctor who sees a patient and they get $50. It's any MD in the state they are licensed and they can only practice the discipline they have been trained in. In other words, you can't have a, can't have a, a podiatrist talking to somebody of what they need for the flu. You follow me? Or whatever that is, whatever prescription that is. So once again, any MD right now, this is what it is. In the state they are licensed and they can only practice the discipline they have been trained in. So there's your tip for today. <laughs> but all these other questions will be answered in the certification. So as we close out, is Fran on here? There she is. There's your core group, guys. Congratulations to core group. First core group of virtual care partners and not the last. And uh, if you want to know what it takes, you got to become an executive. An executive does $15,000 in volume between you and your entire team in a 30-day period. Okay? So we'll go through the comp plan next Saturday to be more specific. But once again, so proud of this initial core group and I look forward to talking to all of you guys on Wednesday. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Um, stop.